dealing with the aftermath of a big blast of winter. A city covered in snow. The cleanup continues from a storm not seen in years. Good afternoon. 24 hours later, and entire city neighborhood streets and sidewalks are still blanketed with snow. Officials say it'll take days to clear, and they've enacted special powers to get it done. CTV's Austin Delaney's live in a Scarborough neighborhood with more. Austin. Well, you can see behind me here, the plows are finally getting to some of these local streets. But this one in particular, up until 20 minutes ago, you couldn't drive in, you couldn't drive out. In fact, it was very hard to walk out. It is as if time stood still on Willowfield Mews. The snow that landed overnight yesterday, untouched a day later. The plows nowhere to be seen. Deep snow blanketing the road. The cars unable to leave this Warden and 401 neighborhood. It's been uh, two days now. I am supposed to be at work. At uh, I work in the ICU and I have not been able to be there to help my colleagues at work because there is no way we can get out of here. Keep pushing. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. It's not good. <laughs> not good. This woman trying to trek through the deep snow on the road to get to a bus to her job downtown. Cameraman Brian Weatherhead wades into the snow to help guide her off the Thank street. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All over the city, it is the day after the big dig, but the big dig continues. Behind the bus, it's not plowed, so they can't get in to get it out right now. On this street, a TTC bus is stuck. The neighbors say to their surprise, it is not a bus route. So this was actually a detour route because they couldn't get across their normal one, but then everything got stuck here on Westlake also. The city has declared a major snowstorm condition. This, uh, this declaration does allow the city uh, for 72 hours, which can be extended, uh, to, uh, to, to you know, remove snow from, from major uh, roadways, uh, streetcar routes, for example. So removing those snow banks, so prohibiting parking uh, in snow routes, uh, you will be subject to being towed and, and tagged and, and have your car impounded. So uh, we're encouraging people to you know, uh, not park, uh, obviously, in snow routes so that we can get, uh, get this done. The city transportation department has already done some 11 rounds of plowing on expressways and 14 on major roads and is still doing local roads. This was the scene yesterday on the 401. Today, the OPP asking for help. Stay home if you can. If you do absolutely need to be out on the roads here, slow down, give yourself space, turn your lights on and just have patience because you may very well need it again today. And that declaration from the city is not just to clean up roads like this so you and I can get out, but it's also so that emergency vehicles can get in and out. We're putting live. I'm Austin Delaney. Thank you, Austin. Take a look at this. Yesterday, storms stopped, transit buses in their tracks. Many haven't moved since. The TTC says hundreds of its vehicles became trapped in the snow, and you can bet that is impacting service. CTV's Beth McNeil is live in a neighborhood in the West End with that story. Beth. Andrea, I'm on just one street showing just one example of the mess that transit is in around the city and GTA. Take a look behind me. This bus st got stuck this morning, neighbors say. And here we have a truck that's going to try and get through here on the street. It's been impossible for more than 24 hours until just hopefully recently. Looks like they're salting this, this hill here. And then we we have another bus that's been stuck here since early yesterday morning during the storm. And at one point, there were three buses stuck on this hill. On a hill in Etobicoke, three TTC buses stuck in the snow led to neighbors taking action. There were already two stuck here, and this poor guy was the third, so got to help clear somehow. But they're the ones that get us to work every day, so we can help them for a change, you know? People shoveling and trying some creative techniques. How thankful are you for these guys helping you out today? It's big. These are real heroes out here. <laughs> this is right here. It's a hot mess. Today, the TTC says up to 400 buses have been stuck on the streets in the aftermath of the storm. The massive dump stopping streetcars in their tracks Stretches of subway lines one and two also shut down, 
along with the entirety of the Scarborough LRT. And we're doing our level best. Uh, we've got operators that are out there. Some have been out there all night clearing tracks, moving buses around, moving streetcars around, shuttling subways. Uh, so a great shout out to all of our employees who are doing amazing work in this condition. Today, Metrolinx reduced service in a bid to help clean up the mess. Uh, the buses were all in the wrong place. So buses that were supposed to be in our st Streetsville garage, I uh, just weren't there because they were stuck uh, someplace else. Trains that were supposed to be in one layover was it, were in another layover. So it really is all mixed up. On the street in Etobicoke, help came with extra hands to do the heavy lifting. These guys, the lady over there, heroes. They helped me tremendously, so. Dude, you made it. They, they made it. <laughs> we made it. Freeing the bus, the driver able to get on his way. And as you can see with that stuck bus, there is a lot of work to do to get the city back up and moving. The TTC says that line two service on the subway line has resumed now. So some good news for commuters using that line. Reporting live, I'm Beth McDonnell. Andrea, back to you. Thank you, Beth. The city says it is working around the clock to clear the massive amount of snow on city streets. To do it, there are more parking restrictions with the risk of a tow. CTV's Mike Walker joins us from a neighborhood in the East End with the details. Mike. Well, Nathan, Andrea, this is a part of the major snowstorm condition the city declared, which essentially prohibits parking on any roads that are designated snow routes. So to allow crews the ability to get down these roads and to clear the snow. Now, during an update this morning, Mayor John Tory said one of the biggest challenges crews are facing are abandoned and parked cars. Officials also updated the snow cleanup process. It's expected to continue throughout today and in tomorrow, consisting of some 600 snow plows and 300 sidewalk plows. Here's more from Mayor Tory. This was a big storm with a large amount of snow, a big storm in historical uh, context. Uh, so it is going to take a big cleanup effort uh, and that's going to take some time, but the cleanup is well underway. Now, once crews are able to clear all of the roads, the next challenge will be removing all this snow. Given the significant snowfall, crews will not be leaving it off to the side to melt. Instead, they will be relocating that snow to storage sites across the city. This cleanup effort expected to take the remainder of the week, and that removal process could start as early as tomorrow. Reporting live, I'm Mike Walker. Back to you. All right, thank you, Mike. And we'll have more on the snow removal efforts coming up. We talked to a city official about the progress to clear city streets and how you can find out when they may come to your neighborhood. And our coverage continues online. Read more about the city's snow clearing plan and check out some of the great images captured during this major weather event. Find it at ctvnewstoronto.ca. Well, Michelle Jobin is here with a look at the current conditions. Welcome back inside, Michelle. And uh, <laughs> yesterday was one for the record books. How are you feeling today? Feeling uh, a little bit warmer today than I was yesterday, certainly outside. But yeah, it was really uh, quite the storm yesterday. We haven't seen a blizzard warning in the city since 1993. And we, we're going to take a look at some snow totals coming up in areas that don't usually see as much snow. And uh, you might be surprised at what you see. What we're looking at right now, still some activity off of the upper Great Lakes, some flurries in the area. But if you're in the GTA take advantage of this sunshine that we're seeing today. We're in a bit of a thaw freeze cycle over the next little while. Still a travel advisory for the Muskoka region uh, and winds are out of the northwest, but they are light. As we get into the afternoon today, we're going to a high of minus four right now, sitting at minus 10 at Pearson. I'll tell you what else you can expect in your forecast. There's more snow on the way coming up. Andrea? Thank you, Michelle. Hundreds of snow plows and hundreds of plows have been deployed. The city says it's trying to clear the roads as quickly as possible, but still has no exact timeline of when the job will be done. To get an update on the situation, we're joined by Vince Ferraza, Director of Operations and Maintenance, Transportation Services. Nice to talk to you. So how are crews doing today? Thank you for inviting me. Uh, crews are doing very well. Crews have been out overnight and continue throughout uh, the morning and in today. So we've been uh, exercising our plowing operations on all the roads, bicycle lanes, and sidewalks since, uh, since last night. And how close are you to completing the job? So we anticipate that the plowing will continue throughout the day and into tomorrow. 
and then we're hoping that we can begin uh, removal, snow removal, hopefully tomorrow, and that will likely continue throughout the rest of the week. And then at the end of the week, you always have some cleanup. There's always some spots that you have to press return, but we're looking at this being um, an exercise that will continue throughout the week. Understood. So how can people track when their own street will be cleared? So we do have a, um, a website and we have a plow uh, finding or web app as well. It's called Plow TO. And on there, you can see exactly where the plow is um, in vicinity to your neighborhood. It's, uh, it's not in real time, but it's about a 15, 30 minute delay. But nevertheless, it gives you a good idea of where the uh, plows are in your neighborhood. All right, good to know. So the city's also enacted special powers to keep the streets clear. If your car has been snowed in on the street, what does that mean for you? Well, if your car is currently parked in an area that is designated as a snow route, then as of the declaration, it is parked in a prohibited area. So we ask you to please remove the, your car, move it out of the way. Um, otherwise, we will uh, work with the neighborhood to see if in fact we have an opportunity perhaps to do some, what we call them friendly toes, uh, or in the fact that it, if it is illegally parked, it will be tagged and sent to a compound. Um, so it depends on where the car is, whether it is parked in a snow route or not. A snow route means that it is illegally parked and will be treated accordingly. If it isn't, then we'll work with the neighborhood to move it temporarily, and then I'll give us time to remove the snow. Good to know. And roughly how many people do you have out there and, and how are they doing as far as this workload? Oh, well, we probably have close to about uh, 13, 1400 uh, individuals right now working. Um, they're working around the clock. Uh, so they put in significant amount of time. We do give an opportunity to uh, have a break and to refresh before we can go out again. But um, it's been all hands on deck. All right, Vince Ferraza, Director of Operations and Maintenance, Transportation Services. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.